Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of our series. I am Dr. Caio Figueiredo and today we're going to talk about metritis, how to diagnose it and why is it important. So uterine diseases are associated with great negative impacts in the dairy herd, including reduced milk production and infertility, ultimately decreasing profitability of the herd. Not only that, but uterine diseases are associated with reduced animal welfare and health. In order to mitigate such detrimental impacts of uterine diseases, it's very important to do consistent health checks in postpartum animals. Metritis is one of the most common uterine diseases and it happens within the first 21 days postpartum, mostly commonly observed in the first 14 days postpartum. So the diagnosis of metritis can be done through the evaluation of a vaginal discharge. The, vi the vaginal discharge can be retrieved either by the palpation of the uterus per rectum or with the use of devices that are going to help us retrieve the vaginal discharge from the vagina. So this device is a piece of metal with a handle and the end has a rubber cup. This cup catches the vaginal discharge it's important to, know, to notice that this cup is made out of rubber and very flexible, so it helps us to avoid injury to the cow. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to use this device. After we wash the perineal area, my left hand is going to pull the tail to the side, and with my left hand, I'm going to open the vulvar lips. I'll remove the device from the chlorhexidine solution that we have here, to avoid spread contamination between cow and among cows. And then going upwards, I'm going to introduce the device into the vagina and go until the end. I'm going to do this motion very slowly and smoothly. And then we're going to collect the vaginal discharge. And this is what we're going to see and analyze. Vaginal discharge is graded visually and by smell. Grade 1 is characterized by clear mucus. 2. Presence of few flecks of pus. 3. Presence of less than 50% of pus. 4. 50% or more of pus. Grade 5 is watery, reddish and brownish and foul smelling, which characterizes metritis. As I previously mentioned, it's important to do consistent health check in postpartum animals so we can diagnose and treat animals promptly. The treatment for metritis is based on cephalosporin-based antibiotics and it's very important to know that these antibiotics do not cross the mammary gland, therefore we don't have antibiotic residues in the milk. It's very important to treat animals with metritis as animals that don't receive treatment were seen less likely to cure. Animals that don't cure have increased mortality, reduced milk production, greater infertility, and potentially affected animal health and welfare. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.